super excited to go into the off season off season have a clear plan for next year and really have to focus on training again and on preparing for a really big goal hi good morning it's the last weekend of october over here in the netherlands and uh, i'm on my way to do a tour uh, a local ride from a local club called they say Wunsel. super nice people i've ridden with them a couple times now i actually did uh, the same version of this stratumse heidetocht <laughs> for non-dutchies repeat after me stratumse heidetocht uh, last year was super nice great route great people great soup and this year i'm doing it again together with my buddy peter the start is about 40 kilometers from my house so i'm taking the uh, the bike there and uh, i'll meet peter at the uh, at the start line i'm actually uh, quite close to uh, eindhoven airport and um in a way that's also what i want to talk to you guys about in this video um, i signed up and i got entered into Gravelbirds 2025 and Gravelbirds 2025 or at least Gravelbirds is an ultra bikepacking event in Portugal 750 kilometers depending on which data you take I would say 10,000 meters of climbing up and down uh, through the uh, the land without shadow is what the organization has marked it down on their website as so really looking forward to that and super excited so uh, i've known for two weeks now that i've uh, that i'm entered because there's only a very limited uh, participants number the organization doesn't want to have uh, too many people at the start so for a while after registration i didn't know if i would be able to uh, to go there but now, like I said, since two weeks, I know, and I've kicked into gear. Um, I don't know if you've seen my previous video about the Across the Champs bikepacking event where I failed miserably. <laughs> I just, I had to scratch. I didn't make it to the finish. So uh, I've learned a lot from that. That's also what I said in that video. Uh, I need to pack light be light uh, and be much fitter on the bike so about kicking uh, myself into gear i've actually cleaned up my diet and i've already lost about two kilograms in two weeks time uh, and of course uh, i'm already working on a checklist how to get to portugal how to fly with my bike and i'm also already studying the route to see where I can sleep, where I can eat, ah, stuff like that. So, super excited to go into the off season, off season, have a clear plan for next year, and really have to focus on training again and on preparing for a really big goal, even bigger than the one I had this year. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> By the way, for you football or soccer lovers, I'm actually passing uh, PSV Eindhoven's training grounds right now. This is it, uh, training facility of PSV. I always forget the name. It's something with uh, Hertgang, Hertkamp, Hertgang, I believe. Anyway. Oh, and that's actually one of the signs that we have around here to count how many cyclists have used this uh, bike lane today. 137, I think I saw on the sign. So people already up and early this Sunday morning. This sign says uh, PSV Campus. Don't know if I just made a mistake and filmed the wrong building. 
Anyway, that's that's how much I know about football. <laughs> I'm more of a cyclist. I do know that uh, Remco Evenepoel played for PSV. That's a thing. So I'm thinking to make this into somewhat of a series to prepare uh, myself for gravel birds and take you guys along. I hope you, uh, you like that kind of stuff. It is a series about a, a clueless newbie ultra cyclist. <laughs> I'm the first to admit I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, I hope you like that kind of stuff. Oh shit. Like I was saying, I hope you like that kind of stuff and uh, want to see me hopefully get fitter and well prepared. I'm gonna make videos about uh, my first mess up already, figuring out how to bring my bike uh, to a flight. I bought a Canyon box bag cover. Well, long story short, uh, I fucked it up. <laughs> I'll make a separate video on that. Uh, yeah, and then uh, of course I'll try to lose weight. It's not so much a weight loss challenge, but the less kilograms I have to haul myself, the less, well, the faster in theory I should be, or how relatively easier the climbs will be, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and then I still have to figure out a lot on what to bring and especially what not to bring. I'm a very overpacking kind of person. I always bring too much stuff. Oh, by the way, PSV Eindhoven football stadium in the middle of the city. There you go. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm uh, uh, cycling event bound. But um, let's live in the moment and talk about today. Meeting up with Peter, uh, doing a 70 kilometer ride that is made by the local club, TC Wunzel. Uh, 40 kilometers to the start, 40 kilometers back, so would make it a 100 kilometer day. Doom and gloom. Uh, it isn't raining anymore, it was drizzling a little, but it's at 12, 13 degrees. I actually tore my leg warmers for my right leg this morning while putting it on. I don't know what happened. I pulled it up and all of a sudden I had two pieces instead of one. <laughs> so I uh, decided to go shorts. It's doable. I think we'll have to pick up the pace a bit for me to warm up, but uh, all in all, it's going to be a good day. And I'm hoping to meet Wim. Uh, he's one of the tour builders of uh, Deze Wunzel. Super nice guy. Hi, Wim, if you're watching this. Hope to bump into you today. Shake hands. And uh, yeah, a good day. A good start of the yeah, 2025 season, actually. Right, just uh, shook hands with Vim. I just met him. Uh, we're gonna share live location on WhatsApp, so we might bump into each other again. Peter's already here. He's just uh, registering. It's a very smooth process today, and I was just just talking to the organization, asking mountain bike versus gravel. I was saying 80-20, but I think more gravelers than last year. Uh, yeah, gravel is popular, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We just started, first couple hundred meters, a little bit of urban gravel. <laughs> we need to get out of town, of course. 
to get to the nice bits. Beautiful colours. Just had to rest up already. I forgot to film. <laughs> I was talking to Vim and Peter, just chit chatting, and now it's on for the 40 remaining kilometers. <laughs> the sun is coming out. It's a beautiful day. Should be around 15 degrees Celsius now. Wow, this is beautiful. Bit uh, well done. I think I'm losing Peter. Got uh, eight kilometers to go. It's beautiful. All these autumn colors. Weather is great. Stunning route. Love it. Flat tire. Ninety-seven uh, kilometers done. I just have a couple more to go before I'm home. A great day, great route again. Too bad the last couple of kilometers got spoiled by uh, the flat tire that Peter had. Uh, we changed the tire and then decided to play it safe and uh, go back via a uh, paved route, a road route. So we skipped the final seven, eight kilometers of the uh, route itself. All in all, great day. Uh, just <laughs> one more day towards my goal of 2025, doing gravel birds. Like I said, I'm gonna keep you posted on all the preparations that I will be doing in the coming months. So you will be seeing me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.